That's one is a very common problem. Um, you know, in the U.S., it's one out of ten kids. Slightly higher in Pittsburgh. You know, anywhere between one in seven and one in nine. We have shown in three separate studies uh, of children around the world, in Costa Rica, uh, the U.S., and Puerto Rico, that low levels of vitamin D are associated with asthma attacks. However, those studies are observational, we call them, and they need, uh, whether vitamin D works or not, needs to be confirmed in a clinical trial. We need to find out whether vitamin D, given as a pill, uh, can help us prevent asthma attacks, which are the major cause of cost and suffering among children with asthma. We're recruiting children who are 6 to 16 years old who have been diagnosed with asthma by a healthcare provider and who have had at least one asthma attack in the year prior to the study. We will uh, do a series of questionnaires to assess the kid's asthma, asthma control. We will do pulmonary function testing on several visits. We will do a blood draw on several visits to check vitamin D levels and make sure the medication is tolerated. Children can tolerate blood draws okay. We try to uh, minimize you know, the impact of this. During the study, if a participant's vitamin D level uh, falls uh, to a low level, we also monitor that and we take care of it. We refer them to a pediatrician for follow-up and treatment. This is uh, what's called a double-blinded, randomized clinical trial. Neither the child nor the doctor knows whether the child will receive vitamin D or a placebo, which would be a pill that looks exactly like the vitamin D, but contains no medication. Our current medications help some, but not entirely. About half the children who have had an asthma attack in the prior year will have another one. We will be able to determine whether vitamin D, which is a, a relatively inexpensive uh, medication, can help children uh, reduce the risk of asthma attacks.